interested in naming and shaming anybody. Rather, it wants to bring them to justice. You will see that the United Arab Emirates has given some names, and the Attorney General of the Federation has responded to that matter, saying that in due course, all these people will have their dates in court. Hmm. Will that move help tackle insecurity in Nigeria? Or what exactly will it take to end insecurity in Nigeria? From bank verification number to national identification number and now to shutting down of telecommunication networks, the Nigerian government has over the years introduced several measures to tackle insecurity. But how effective are these measures? I'll be talking about them in this video. Welcome to Premium Times on the Go. I am Titi Lokwe Fodari. Hey, quick one. I'm sure some of you have heard of James Sibori and the over 4.2 million euros that was stolen by him, which was for you. Do you think paying ransom is a viable means to end insecurity? I will give you a background to each of the measures introduced by the Nigerian government to tackle insecurity and how effective it has been over the years. In February 2014, the Central Bank of Nigeria, in collaboration with the Bankers Committee, embarked upon the deployment of a centralized bank verification system and launched the bank verification number, BVN. So this BVN was introduced to curb or reduce illegal banking transactions in Nigeria by harmonizing bank accounts and giving a face to owners of accounts through a centralized database. It is believed that this measure has an underlying target in the fight against insecurity, for instance, identifying the sponsors of terrorism. However, recently, the Minister of Justice and Attorney General of the Federation, Abubakar Malami, and Presidential aide, Femi Adeshino, said the government is not concerned in naming and shaming the sponsors of terrorism. They will rather investigate and then prosecute, and not the former, because it will disrupt the process. In 2020, we saw another measure. The Nigerian government began the mean to seen linkage with a directive to telecommunications to block unlinked numbers. The Minister of Communication and Digital Economy, Isa Pantami, explained that NIN replaced BVN because the BVN is a bank policy while NIN is a law. President Muhammadu Buhari also said the registration of the national identity number and linking it to mobile numbers will help fight insecurity in the country. According to him, it will help cover the weaknesses of Nigeria's security sector and help to easily identify the personalities of Nigerians. But several quarters have criticized the effectiveness of these measures. Sheikh Hussani, a former senator, faulted the federal government for failing to effectively manage a central database linking information of all Nigerians. After Nigerians had to deal with the rush of registering for BVN and NIN, due to imposed deadlines another measure was introduced shutting down of telecommunications networks this started in zafara state recently sokoto state followed and now kaduna does this mean all the measures to tackle insecurity introduced by the nigerian government have not been effective let's know your thoughts in the comment section this is premium times on the go i am titi lakwe